and welcome everyone once again to casters and casters presents <laughs> covens and cauldrons Good hey well beyond the witchlight <laughs> hey everybody i am your game master dungeon master whatever sort of person thing that you want to call me i don't care uh i'm pyrotechnics and i am joined on this wonderful broadcast by some incredible people uh let's go ahead and just go on down the line sipping what i can only imagine to be a perfect and age-appropriate beverage is uh Boop <laughs> Um, Boop, would you care to introduce, uh, everything that you want to share about yourself, which is probably opening up a can of worms? Oh, um, I'm drinking some Kool-Aid, which is cool. Ooh. Um, yeah, and it tastes really good, and I'm excited for it. Basically, I think Hald's kind of exactly where it was last time. He, he's kind of where he was last time, right? I suppose. I mean, what about people who, who don't know who Hald is? I mean, what's, what's Hald all about? Oh, so Hall's all about figuring out who his real dad is at the end of the day. I still don't know. I was raised as a human, but ended up realizing that I wasn't all human. I got my ears restored and everything. They're a little small right now, so I'm embarrassed by them. Um, they're still growing. But, um, but yeah, so I'm kind of just trying to figure out how uh, to find myself. But also... I was trying to become an explorer after like an independence rebellious phase after finding out that I was, I didn't know who my dad was and got my ass kicked by some nulls and uh, a fairy saved me and I have to do something for them still. And I don't know what. I, that about sums it up. I think that's, that's perfect. Shall we move on down the uh, line? Uh, Eloana and Ninkasi. Yes, uh, I'm Eloana on social media, and I play our Water Gnazi Tempest Cleric. Uh, so I am the only one, I believe, that has a full and living happy family. Um, so I was part of for the carnival. Now. Yeah, How for now, you. before <laughs> before the DM tries to kill him again. Go, go back um, to the first then... episode if you don't understand what that was all about. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's on YouTube, um, youtube.com slash casters and castles. Yes, definitely, definitely watch him try and kill my parents in the first session yep, um always. yeah and i have absolutely no sense of direction and i was part of the carnival and uh originally i was uh basically a mermaid for hire and then i turned into the cleric that married people elvis style you know like vegas um in the carnival. carnival so yeah incredible yeah absolutely uh and continually moving on down the line we have got space ghost and curly hello She's a bunny person. She likes to stab things. She's very dumb. It's kind of a bimbo, honestly. If we really think about it. Just a bimbo with knives. Uh, her big brother, her little brother is Kaza, but she is two feet tall and he's like 10 feet tall. <laughs> it's an adorable accurate, relationship. Accurate. Uh, just got done. So I have heard, because I had to step out on the last session, successfully pulled off a chubby bunny. Finally, we the did first it. One, a very acrobatic <laughs> uh, maneuver. Uh, yes. And murdered other other <laughs> rabbit people uh, for right, the first that's time. Where her brother, the giant, throws her. So that's the chubby bunny. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of things move. that happened last time. We're assuming you all have <laughs> caught up enough to be watching this, so that spoilers aren't necessarily relevant. But um, I suppose you may want to mute for the next minute if that's not the case. Uh, a little late for that one. But let's go ahead and move on down the line. We've got Crowen and Leo Linclair. I'll be back in two seconds. Hello, I'm Crowan, playing uh, Leo Linclair, who is a human bard. He's just having a, a good time. He's here to vibe, you know, uh, write some, some or not write anything, but uh, 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 just do poetry, and hopefully Very it works well. out. Mm -hmm. really so I've heard. Well. You so do I've poetry heard. at people, and they take damage, which honestly <laughs> yeah. sounds like it's a bad thing, but I think it's, it's a pretty good thing in your context. You could say he's quite eloquent. Um, and last but certainly not least, we have Kenobi Cass and his character Kaza. Uh, hi, yeah, I'm Kaza. I play uh, Curly's. <laughs> Sorry, that's brother. a good catchphrase. Hi, yeah, I'm Kaza. <laughs> <laughs> I play I play Curly's little brother, uh, Kaza, uh, who is a Goliath barbarian. Who's I I think the best move that Kaza has currently is throwing Curly at someone else to then murder them. I think that is how we have secured the most amount of kills as a group so far. So we will continue to be doing that because it is the coolest part of this campaign, at least for me, that there is that part that I just, <laughs> just get to wing a little the rabbit at someone with knives. 
Yeah, the Chubby Bunny, uh, which is, is a really good name for I'm it. I'm surprised at how often it actually here. works. <laughs> Yay! I bought everybody survive. food, so I yeah. just gotta let him know. <laughs> uh, this, this episode brought to you all by Kari being an absolute G um, and and getting getting people food. Thank you for that. Um, I, just, but, I uh, don't know how to tell you else. I do have a little bit of um, other things for housekeeping uh, for everybody because I did want to talk a little bit about... Uh, first of all, you can see down at the bottom of the screen that we have an act of God already enabled for this session. If you are familiar with doing this, lots of awesome people in the chat. Um, if you are familiar <laughs> with the act of God system uh, through uh, Castles oh, and no. Castles, you know, and if you are not, if you are a first time viewer, it is where either via uh, subs, uh, a sub goal being hit, or uh, if you are feeling particularly generous, a direct purchase through our Kofi, which is Kofi.com slash casters and castles, uh, you can make some crazy shit happen in this world. Uh, as the number ticks up, more and more crazy things tend to occur uh, until they are truly, truly earth shattering. Uh, and if you want to find out what they may be, well, please uh, feel free to, to drop those subs any single time you would like. Over the course of the show, we have at least one that will be redeemed tonight. Uh, if you, uh, of course, do not uh, have the means or want to do any support financially, there are also channel rewards for other things that can be redeemed in terms of healing, inspiration, advantage, disadvantage, all that kinds of fun stuff that you can see down in the chat channel. In addition, uh, we are also currently looking, Casters Castles is also currently looking uh, for contributors to a zine, a tarot-themed zine. And you can go ahead and check out the details I'm putting in the chat right now. Uh, currently for, I believe it's like the next week or so, looking for contributors uh, to make this whole thing happen. Focuses on a couple different shows, including our very own Covens and Cauldrons. And... The last thing I want to get to, you may have noticed as we are getting underway here, there have been some clips showing up in the pre-show role. We'll see a couple of them on the break as well from all of the various shows and uh, wonderful productions here on Casters and Castles. If you would like to see some Covens and Cauldron shenanigans go down, please clip your favorite moments and send them to us. Uh, or just, you know, say you're clipping them in the Twitch chat. We'll go ahead and grab those. We put them in a little folder and they will play randomly uh, because that's way cooler than ads, right? So if you like something, go ahead and clip it. Uh, maybe we'll encourage you from time to time. Uh, if you want to see Hald attempting to ride some type of animal or Kaza throwing his big sister at some bad guys or Leo spitting some really cool bars and making people die from how insane the burns are uh, or anything or, or Ninkasi just generally being a badass with spells that just don't seem to miss. Anything and like that. Downing some of my teammates, you know. It's... Also that. <laughs> we don't, I don't, what are you talking about? We've never heard of that. You've never heard of that. The stronger the relationship, It's in the, the past. The it's in the past. It's in the past. <laughs> so that is, I, I believe, an thunder now. wave between friends, you know? <laughs> that is, I believe, everything uh, for our bit of housekeeping. So let's, you know, take a minute, dive right into what happened the last time around on Covens and Cauldrons. A Kaza, having been missing from the crew, awoke in a strange tent with two swamp-dwelling hobgoblins standing over him. As he came to, it was gradually pieced together that he had suffered from the effects of something that they referred to as the Fog of Visions and wandered off away from his group. Meanwhile, the rest of them had continued on their way towards the brigands' tollway at the request of a key-obsessed goblin that made quite the impression on them. Now, as fate would have it, they stumbled upon the very camp where Kaza was recovering, and after defusing a potentially tense situation, these hobgoblins being a little skittish of open magic use, you were all shown to the tent where Kaza was recovering, prompting an emotional reunion between two siblings. And also a little bit of uh, well-earned trolling, as Kaza now thinks that he was gone for a grand total of three days, and not one. <laughs> But suddenly, <laughs> your so reunion was cut short as a panic picked up outside the tent. And quickly making your way outside, you noticed a pack of oily, greasy boggles descending on the camp. And there was a very slippery battle that involved a lot of no. uh, sliding down the way, throwing Normally people through the air. Normally you have to pay for that, air. don't you? Uh, it does cost extra, but not when acts of God are, are, uh, are in right. play. Uh, moving on. The cleanup did take a little bit of time after the battle. Uh, I tried. <laughs> but Hold, 
Paul gathered up a little bit of the uh, the residue, if you will, the boggle oil, and uh, also inadvertently pr proposed a multi-level marketing scheme. I did. <laughs> That's right. I, I did. That. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I watched the vods. I watched the freaking vods. All right. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> your plans to assault the brigands' tollway were improved with advice from the hobgoblins as well as your directions, and along with Sir Talavar, the fairy dragon knight. Ooh. My husband. You made your way <laughs> through the swamp. Hold uh, also stumbled upon a uh, a really dope fairy dragon skincare routine, it turned out. Completely inadvertent. Uh, but you were stopped and harried along your way by a number of rabbit folk. These herringon, the brigands everyone had spoken of. Managing to dodge a full fight with some very quick thinking some clever wit, and quite a lot of charm from our very own Leo and Claire. Oh. Hold uh, also attempted the to ride their, their pack snail uh, and found out that he was quite a sad boy, but it was a little difficult to get that to work out from right under the nose of these brigands, as charmed as they were. And soon enough, as night fell, you approached the tollway, a foggy marsh stretching out in front of you, rickety causeways made of wooden planks, just forming a wide web-like structure above the bog, and as a tree stump rose out of the mist, you, before you were able to react, were spotted by a number of guards who ran to raise the alarm. But before they could get to it, with some very fast thinking, you were able to take them out one by one by one. And as the last of these Harrigan fell, the dust bunnies settle. And we begin. <laughs> and it's curious because it is nighttime. And as you catch your breath, waiting to see if the other shoe is going to drop, waiting to see if you made enough noise to rouse any suspicions. You wait seconds, minutes, and it's quiet, but for the sounds of the swamp, it seems like you have managed to stay silent. What would you like to do? Well, I'm in the water and underwater. So just for reference for everyone, because at the end of the last session, I had jumped in the water, uh, so. Yeah. There aren't any guards left, correct? Like... There are three dead herringon up top of the stump. For reference, uh, Sir Talavar is flitting around up there. Curly, having been tossed onto the top of the stump, uh, is also Curly! Up there. <laughs> Did you kill guard? <laughs> what? Oh, father, father. Oh, what? What? Is she, is she cannot hear if I... Then you walk over there so we don't... You know, we already had a close Paza. call there. It's just... <laughs> Paza, what? Okay, I, okay, I will walk over. Cause is gonna walk just, over. Let's just get all together uh, it's, again. So it's a large. It's like a very large stump. As you approach down the causeway, okay. Uh, there are vines growing off the sides. If you wanted to try and like climb up to the top of the stump, but the first thing you notice as you get closer is there is actually an opening, uh, with some dim light spilling out of it. Uh, oh, okay. And are you continuing to talk as you uh, approach? <laughs> um, before uh, we do, before we do anything, I'm gonna cast invisibility on myself. Okay. <laughs> Coward. Boop just yeah. Um, Kaz is gonna. Kaz is not gonna do anything, but he's gonna turn around and like look at uh, Leo and just go. <sighs> he's gonna like very like slowly and like kind of like a dipshit, just like do that like funny Scooby Doo like. Uh, secret like slow like soft walking like uh, yeah. silent walking and just like <laughs> with with that sound <laughs> right you know the one. <laughs> leo will imitate it going along with the bit just walking over <laughs> same fashion oh <laughs> the camera God. zooms the around the two of you are just doing the scooby-doo creep uh nikasi yes. is, is uh, in the yeah. water curly is up top of the stump with sir talavar who watching all of this um flits back over you and says I say that was a rousing battle, but I feared our companions may be the ones blowing our cover. What do you mean by that? 
Well, they will make I go ahead and walk through the front door. Mm. You just walk up to the front door? Yeah, I'm invisible. That's true, you are. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> what do you think's on the other side of that door? <laughs> I do believe it is the entrance to the tollway. We must hmm. be careful, there may be more inside. How are we going to get down there? I can perhaps uh, lend some assistance if you want to grab hold. I can float us down. Okay. All right. This gets a little shy. So, <laughs> don't have to convince Curly. Grab, like, <laughs> so just for those of you who don't know what Sir Talavar looks like, I'm going to load that picture up. Oh, I hate this guy, man. Curly has I hate this guy. <laughs> bit of a crush. So these like, these, like legs, these like little like like thin like chicken legs, you just like grab hold of them. He just like flaps like really fast, like, like, a, like a, a dragonfly. <laughs> And it just, it just like slowly sinks down. It's very much the same effect as a feather fall. Um, as you just come to a landing, like like a weird fairy dragon fucked up Mary Poppins. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> that was quite invigorating. I may need a breather. You're so strong. You're so strong. Ah, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I take great pride in my training regimen. Oh, oh sorry, God. we are being quiet. <laughs> Curly's just gonna climb up Kaza and sit on his shoulder. Okay. Uh, we are being we are being quiet. Sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> I'm trying to like get ahead of everybody, scout yeah, so, out everything. So this little reunion happens. Uh, Paul, you walk up to the entrance, and you do see. As you enter through the dim light, kind of clears a little bit as your eyes kind of adjust once again to the space. It's completely invisible as you are. You don't really... Are you taking extra care on top of being invisible or are you just kind of like walking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Of okay. course. Yeah. So being... Uh, you always use protection. Yeah. You, you look uh, you look through and you see that the wooden pathway that you're standing on enters uh, at the base of the stump into a very rustically like wooden carved room. You can see that the stump has been hollowed out. Um... Wonderful backdrop, by the way. Uh, you, Who is gonna, that you're strong gonna, You're going to break me. I hope you're proud of this. Um, <laughs> the walls are very rough, made with care, but not with expertise. Uh, there is a warm glow of the fireplace that is illuminating uh, all this like mismatched furniture. Uh, muddy footprints kind of like coming and going like willy-nilly from inside. It just looks sort of like it's it's not incredibly well cared for, uh, and there are two guards, two other Harangon that are playing cards by the firelight, and you're invisible, so you obviously haven't been noticed by them, um, but you just see them kind of like playing a little bit, having a drink or two. Um, looking about the room, there is a small desk with a bunch of papers on it, and it seems like it's not particularly like it's not a very like like lived in room or a room that people tend to like spend a lot of time in even though the footprints are coming and going there is a door off to the right as you enter that looks like where more of this space is probably more commonly lived in okay so there's just two guards yeah two guards seated at a table uh to your left uh fire a, a fireplace kind of like a little bit in, the, in like the corner directly across from you and on your right there is a doorway uh and there's also a desk between the guards and the fire uh, fireplace that has some paper stacked on it okay so what i'm gonna try to do is something cray and i'm sorry everybody um but i'm gonna try to use charm person at second level so i can charm both of them at the same time Okay, uh, so you are invisible, so that will break your yep. invisibility. So you want to like just yep. pop out and try to charm the two of them. Yeah, like in like the thirty feet that I can do in the middle of traveling there and coming back to my friends. Okay, I am going to double check charm person really quickly. So you are going to sneak up. How close are you trying to get before you cast charm person? Uh, within thirty feet. You're, this is not the large room, so you can do it from the entrance, more or less. Cool. Um, okay. You're not fighting it. Uh, this is a saving throw for these two dudes. How far is the rest of the group? Just out of curiosity. Uh, but you, you said you snuck about ahead of them. You're trying to. This is all happening while like Curly's floating down. So I'm gonna say <laughs> okay. like you're all about maybe like 20 feet back. That's not bad. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead. And 
Let's go ahead and roll. You said it, this is a wisdom saving throw, yes? Um, it must make a wisdom saving throw. What is your DC? What is your save DC? Um, my save DC. It is term. I don't know where it says that. I'm sorry. Uh, it should be. It should be on like your like your spell save DC should be under your spells. Oh, 14. 14. Okay. Ooh. They both pass, right? Woo! They both did something. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. Describe to me how you how you cast this spell and where you are specifically when you do it. Um, I'm like right at the the entrance and I kinda come out and they go, Zaraza! Try to charm okay. them with my dance. So you some pizzazz. I'm gonna I'm gonna yep. describe their point of view because I think this is really important. These okay. two guards are playing cards at a table, and all of a sudden, a mildly half-elven dude just into existence, says that, waves his hands, uh, and they both look at you, like, shock, and then, and then, don't scare oh, us like that, Gov. <gasps> What's uh? What's going on? Let me go. Hey, uh, b boss told me I gotta get these uh papers. And I need your help. <laughs> oh, papers. oh, yeah, yeah, no, of course, of course. Um, what, yeah, 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 what, yeah, yeah. What do you need? Do you need the uh? Do you need the ledger? Do you need the um? Everything. Oh, ev <laughs> I need ev literally everything. everything. They're gonna be moving tonight. What? Why didn't no one? No one told us about. Well, because you weren't. You have to be privy to the plan. It's only important people. We're moving. <laughs> oh, right. Um, make a persuasion check. <clears throat> wow, Holt's persuasion's pretty good. <laughs> They're Maybe not privy to the plan, dude. Eighteen. Oh my Ooh. god, he's a, he's a monster. This not is bad. the start of something. Um, he's a liar. <laughs> uh, I ain't calling you a truther. <laughs> so, uh, they're like. All right. I mean, yeah. I guess if we're not okay. All right. All right. Uh, and one starts getting up and starts like just bundling up bunches of paper. Uh huh. Uh, and the so, other one's like, uh, "Do you need? Do you need anything from me?" Yeah. I go. You have to tell. What is the most important thing here that you know of? It's probably the ledger. All right. Just make sure the ledger is safe. Your partner has got that. Other than that, you're just gonna keep out watch for us and tell us if anything is coming amiss because this is so important. We're moving. Okay. You just weren't privy to the plan. Where should we stand guard here or Where where is the most you've been here for a while? Yeah, we just I mean we stand guard, but there's there's the sentinels upstairs and Yeah, you were just sitting on the table doing nothing. Now do something. <laughs> All right, all right, and it starts it starts moving around, like trying to make themselves look busy. And the other one uh, heads over to you and just like tosses like a like a handful of papers and like a big like leather bound ledger, um, and just thrusts it in your hands. And goes, uh, um, um, is there anything else? Anything else you need? Uh, is, is it for the plan? Are we? Where are we going? Do we? Do we, should we be packing up? Uh, no, you're gonna stay here and fight for your lives until you die. Well. It's called a last stand. We're moving. That's what I was saying. Not you're moving. We're moving. Wait, we're gonna. <laughs> we're not... You literally we're not signed with... up to do this. This was always a possibility. That contract was vague on that bit. Got yeah, that's why you read it. Oh, I can't. I can't Smart read. Brain. It was verbal commitment. That's obvious. <laughs> yeah. Wait, yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, or else you would have known. <laughs> Um, that you would have gone ahead. So what I want you to do is I want you, now that you found the ledger, to find me anything, like any spell books, anything that's going to heal us, any potions, anything. Uh, um, okay. And he starts looking around uh, and like just like scrabbling through like the desk and the table. Um, apart from the guest log, there is uh, not a whole lot of value that they're able to find to give you. Um, you do get about seven gold pieces that were gathered up from various, like, like corners and, like, nooks and stuff. Cool, uh, cool. so go ahead and add seven gold to your inventory. Uh, and then the playing card deck, which has all, like, it's, like, the entire suit 
or the entire the entire like like deck is just like different types of like rabbits and they give you the whole like deck it's like it, it's 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 a bit warm but it's nice oh that is nice yeah i like you can, this. Add, you can add a playing card deck if you want awesome cool and so what i'm gonna do though is i'm gonna throw it back on the table and i say you guys need to play until they get here okay okay nothing else and I just throw the they, cards on the table they? you and your friend that left no who's until who they who's who gets here you're not privy what, what are we, did you read what are we did you read the contract but we don't we don't know what to prepare for if we don't know who's coming oh my god are they, are they just hiring any rabbit from literally whatever place now huh where's quality control uh, make an intimidation check <laughs> <laughs> just flex on them hold just flex on them 18. oh my <laughs> god look at each other and just go <laughs> right we'll be we'll be ready for anything ready uh, so All right. Let's go back to playing cards. Okay. And remember what they say. <laughs> Dong Long Scarf is the best. Dong Long. What? <laughs> Dong, Long Dong Long Scarf? <laughs> wow. Agden That's Long going Scarf. In notes. Only his friends <laughs> call him Dong. All right. All right. I heard Dong Long Scarf. Because we're part Long like Scarf this. Silly rabbit. Tricks All right. And so I holler down and I go, hey, my comrades who are helping us, we're getting out of here. They're going to come in here real quick. They're going to do stuff, and you have to stay at the table. Right, right, yeah. All right, and so I kind of just, like, sit down and chill until my friends get there. Okay, so at about this time, um, Hold's got, Hold went invisible. Y'all didn't see what happened after that. I imagine we're just you know, sneaking <laughs> over to get to each other. Is Ninkasi still in the water at this point? Um, I would I would have been swimming up to like that entrance area, so I imagine at this point I'd probably be getting there and like coming out of the water as Curly's like Mary Poppinsing down <laughs> onto the ground. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll get we'll get there around the same time, just different methods of transport. Yeah, yeah. So this where's Ninkasi? Oh, she's there. Where'd Hulk go? I don't know. Why do we keep getting split oh, up like this? <laughs> it's just. Oh boy! Well, least, okay, so now it is not me who is missing; it is Halt who is missing. See, yeah. I followed direction. You did great job. I'm very proud of you, Kazda. You followed all the direction. Thank you. You're even very quiet right now. That's great. You're using your indoor quiet voice. Um, I. Just, all right, let's. Maybe Hold went to go. I don't know, infiltrate or something. Might as well catch I, up like, to call him. Down? Be like friends. Everyone except Sir Talavar. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come here. What are you? <laughs> no, it's cool, guys. It's cool. Come, I got it under control. I guess he has it under control. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I guess we go in. Um, kind of worried about how he got this under control, but let's go. <laughs> Yo, guess Kaz, is still, fine. Kaz is still Scooby-Doo moving slow. <laughs> <laughs> the little tiptoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Leo, same. He's very proud that Kaza is sticking with it. So Leo is continuing to do the same with Kaza. Carly's not walking, but she's making the hand motions. <laughs> We're just three stooges. <laughs> oh, man. Just stooging around, boys. Yep. Oh, Eventually get to the entrance, I imagine. Uh, yeah, you Slowly, all. Um, but quietly. Uh, you all work your way towards the entrance. You walk in and you see. Uh, what I've described previously, this little like kind of rustic and like muddy sort of uh, space with uh, two Harrington guards just sitting there playing at the table. Visibly, you don't need to make an inside check for this. Visibly, like a little like disconcerted, but just like not paying any of you any mind as you step in through the threshold. And then over in the corner at a desk, like I'm assuming. Boop, his hall just like does just got like his feet up, like going through the ladder. Yeah, yeah, totally. I was about to be like, yep. Yeah. Oh. So wait, wait, wait. yeah, he's we just use, sitting there. We use we use we use quiet voice. Now we kill rabbit with quiet, yes. Yes. Um uh, friends. They are bad no guy. Hold bad guy? Okay, so let me tell you what I did. Alright. Um I went ahead and I came down here before you to do some scouting. I charmed these guys with pizzazz. And then uh, here we are. They're playing cards to the death. I mean, just waiting. To the death? Yeah, whoever loses is dying. Oh. 
I IQ? Do. Yeah, you can. We're gonna Hasa? tie one up. The one who lives, we're gonna tie up and hold hostage. The other, okay. Yeah, the other is gonna have to battle us. Okay. Yeah. How about that? Okay. It is a good play. <laughs> Quite the high stakes game of cards. All right. Yeah. And <laughs> what, I don't even that? know what they're playing. What, what is everyone's Which one's winning right now? <laughs> huh? What is everyone's passive, passive perception? perception? Uh, passive perception? 10. 12. 14. 12. Passive perception. Yeah, I, I think it is. I think Ninkasi probably has the highest. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Ninkasi, uh, as you were all discussing what to do, um, and I'll get to you in a second. Mr. Uh, Mr. Kaza, uh, you look and like the Parangon are playing cards like they're going through the motions, but they're not really paying attention to what's happening. And you can tell that they're like very nervously trying not to like, not to, like make eye contact. But every once in a while, they like it's 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 like the monkey puppet meme. They just like look up and then like look away. Can I tell that they're like charmed? Like like mm. could I do maybe an insight? So on that, your your passive possession gives you like, yeah, gives you like that. They, they seem like nervous and disconcerted. Um, yeah, you can go ahead and roll a, an insight check if you like. Oh, like this to. might be. Ooh, I almost want to say Arcana, but I'm gonna give this to you because you rolled really high. Uh, wow, it's like the ninth You know in a row. that there's no reason apart from some type of magical means that you're fairly confident Hulk possesses, because you've seen Leo do something very similar not very long ago. Uh, that mm. they would just be like letting y'all be in here and deliberately not <laughs> noticing you. You don't know exactly what Paul did, but you do know that he is he has whammied them somehow. Okay. Um, I'm like, they hey friends. Um, <laughs> uh, Leo, 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 oh, come here. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, yeah. My friends at the table, can you tell mm -hmm. me the story of Dong Long Scarf so my friend can yeah, write it down? Um, well. Only his friends are allowed to call him Dong. Are you his friends? Yeah, that's why we're leaving. Oh, yeah. No, it makes sense. Yeah, so, yeah. um, well, a long time ago, uh, Agden, is where Dong would just work for him. Um, yep, good, good. Agden, he see you, yes. He was, uh, well, is still the greatest brigand that has ever been seen in the other world. And, mm -hmm. um, well, he ran afoul of this, uh, uh, this, this this entity, this person that used to run this place called Zabilna. See, Zabilna, uh, she uh, she punished him. Man, I'm so tired of that bitch. She put him up on a on a. Uh, well, she's she's gone now, so that's that's not a problem. Um, she put him up on like on like the top of a, a really tall tree and said that he wasn't going to be able to get down. Nailed his scarf to it. See, so he couldn't get away. His scarf is uh, you know partially what makes him so fast. Um, mm -hmm. and then, uh, and then, and then, well, um, when, when Bivlona took over the swamp, uh, took over this part of Prismia, uh, she let him down. And, um, well, he, he put call out for, uh, a new crew, and we signed on, having grown up with the legends, and, uh, we've been working for him ever since, and we have been making a killing off of all sorts of idiots who come prowling through here. It's all in the legend. Yeah. So I've heard you all have done very well for yourself. You should be proud of your efforts, even if you're, you know, not that close with Agden, but you're still doing fine. We're, we're working on it. I mean, he's not yeah. the easiest to get near. He's a bit of a... He's, he's, a, bit, he's a bit skittish, I think. Yeah, I mean, I think in I time. Why lately seems like he's keeping himself to his quarters. You know, if you do a really good job on this mission here, I think I might be able to put in a good word for you. So just keep it up. Right, 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 right. Yes, yes, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll just keep we'll just keep acting like nothing is wrong. That's right. Um, yep. So he goes back nothing's to the cards. It's okay. Let's give hold a little, a little thumbs up and a and a wink. All right. So the ledger, mm -hmm. Dong. Sorry, your Mister Long Scarf, mm -hmm. Doctor Long Scarf, Peppy Long Scarfing. No. Um. <laughs> uh. Yeah. You. Uh. You. 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 You read through the ledger. Yep. Okay. Um. From what you can tell going through it pretty quickly because it's not it's not extensive nor is it like really like uh uh like coded in any manner um it appears to be a list of names uh and sort of like a like a a, a bookkeeping uh measure to see if people to like like just basically anyone who's passed through uh any part of Harringen territory in 
uh, in Hither and whether or not they have paid a toll. Um, it's basically just like a yes, no. It's a very simple spreadsheet. Um, are you looking for anything in particular through it or are you just reading through it? Um, I mean, is there anything that like pops out? Anything in like different ink or yeah, or like written more recently, like a library card? Uh, so the first thing that occurs to you is that there are no dates listed. Um, this is just okay. a long list of names. Uh, yep. You do see, you do see a handful of names. Okay. Um, I think for Halt specifically, uh, what would stand out to you? Uh, roll me a. Roll me a intelligence check. Just raw intelligence check. All right. Two of them are Shakira. Get it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shakira, Shakira. Okay. Shakira, Shakira. Why not? She would have passed through. 21. <laughs> Woo! Okay, it's a good check. Um, So you see a name that you remember. Um, okay. You remember that very briefly while you were in, while you were in the tent um with curly and causes dad early um you remember very briefly a bit of conversation about when they were saying goodbye uh about how there was another parent that had gone missing named hurley you see that name on this ledger interesting and is it like up high like how long ago there's no dates but there's no dates like how many names are like after it like how many pages there's there's a few pages but as you casually scroll through that's one that pops out like kind of like right in the middle of things okay. um another more recent entry you see uh is a sir ravelat in very very flourishy signage which considering how much you have recently expressed dislike for him, you realize that's just Sir Talavar backwards. <laughs> I do have comprehend languages, so I probably don't know. It ain't a language. Uh, it's yeah. It's a really bad cipher. <laughs> okay. Oh, Sir Talavar! Sir Talavar! Come here. Yeah. I Come here, I, you little... Uh, he, he whizzes in and he goes, Ah, yes, you have found the brigand's ledger. Excellent. Yeah. What's, what Why is, is your name in here? Because I crossed through Prismia once before and needed to pay it all. Oh, okay. Is that all? Yep. That makes sense. Right. That answer. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah, there are there are like loads of other names in here, but like that's. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's the only one that stands out to you. I do want to. Oof. How do I how do I ask this? Um. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the only one that would stand out to you. Okay, so I'm going to call. Um, Leo over, give him the ledger because I feel like he's the most responsible. Um, and be like, turn to page so and so and see if you recognize anybody. Yeah, sure, sure. Leo well, yeah, will do this similar thing on Hold's bequest. Just, uh, so uh... you are looking, you are just looking through the ledger for names you would recognize. Yeah, I guess so. Um, you were also in the tent around the same time, and you see the name Hurley in there. Um, mm -hmm. That one is the only name that you recognize. Uh, well, actually, that's not entirely true. Uh, I would also like you to give me a history check. Or, sorry, guidance. Raw intelligence, excuse me. I have guidance now. Kaza, can you read? <laughs> Kaza can't read. No way. There's no oh, shot. Uh, so you get a 1 4 Oh, no a shot. natural one. Uh, that's, <laughs> yeah, you, you know, you scroll through and you, uh, see, you see the name Hurley, and then you're like, oh, I don't see anything else. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that well, is interesting um i see that one um is that name written upside down what oh these i can't do anything right around here ah uh, yes Crazy. i used a code name when i was here last time it's just your name no it's backwards. a cipher it is no backwards. it's just your name it's, it's your cipher. name backwards exactly you, oh, you cracked cipher. the cipher we're very clever oh very my clever. god we're so smart here we're doing fantastic <laughs> um <laughs> I, I think I it was Leo, to so. Cause, with some Curly. clever individuals. Uh, then Cause, let's just get the whole group. Just we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come over. What's up? Um, Huddle. Just uh, okay. turns the ledger over so that they can read it and points to the name Hurley. Doesn't know. I don't think that Cause can't read, so it's just <laughs> pointing. What? Oh, Curly, Curly. Right. What did? What does it say? She swings down and she's like, it "Says Hurley on there." <laughs> Oh, dad. oh. 
Well, at least we know he's been through here, I guess. That's kind of yeah. helpful. Um, okay, so I mean, we alive. have to... At we least have he's to still now, alive. And you're taking this news really well. Torture the rabbit to figure uh -huh. out where he went. Yep, yep. I think we should pull one of their ears off, and then we should pull the other one off. All right. I, wait, I for like my, wait for my wait for my signal and sure you'll know the signal. Uh, but we yeah. <laughs> will take the ledger to walk over to the two hanging that are playing cards. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kaz is just sitting oh. there, just like as if like with a great axe, but like doing the bat thing they do in the like mob. <laughs> they are very deliberately pretending not to notice you. Would ripping their ears off the ear break thing? this? Uh, yeah, it does. It does. I'm pretty sure. Okay, Curly has an inside voice. <laughs> I don't know so, if it's I mean... gonna matter too much if it if, once the ears are gone, if they're charmed or not. <laughs> yeah, it like... says it spell ends until your companions do anything harmful. Yeah. Well, uh, Leo, Leo walks over. Would be harmful. So, so so sorry to interrupt your your, your game. Um, we're checking this ledger against any you know inconsistencies, and there might be one here. Just make sure you're doing your job well. We want to put in a good word for you at the end of the day. Oh, this right name there. right here, it says Hurley. How long ago did they come through? Uh, we just want to know. Hurley, Hurley. Um, think a little harder and faster, would you? Yeah, it should have been a uh, what what do they look like again? Curly? No, Hurley. Hurley. I'm sorry. You're Hurley, Curly. Your dad. He a... is the one with the pumpkin on his head, right? No, that was Burly. That's that's Burly. That's, that's your dad that's still there at the at the fair. Which one was Hurley? Hurley, Hurley wears uh, overalls? <laughs> Hurley, they both they both wore overalls. Hurley, Hurley looked dad. very similar. The biggest difference was in how they um how they interacted with others. In fact, Hurley uh looked so similar to Burly most of the time that a lot of people thought they were brothers, but they were not, in fact. Mm -hmm. um, and the difference was, well, Burley was much more of, like, a bookish type and, like, a little bit more reserved. Uh, Hurley was very outgoing, but had very, very poor social graces that got him into a lot of trouble. Um, he did teach you knife throwing, though, Curly, originally. Uh, he was very good martially, just not very good at Papa. being social. Um, so Kaza got no skills. On a, Kaza got on, those skills. On Bad social 20, skills. That's on a nat twenty. One of the guards goes, "Oh yeah, yeah, big, big, um, big, big bugbear chap, right? With yeah, the, um, yeah, the, the dungarees yeah. and yeah, really, mm -hmm. um, bit of a bit of a bit of a wild character, if I recall correctly. Was loath to part with his coin, but he did in the end. Yeah, I mean, of course, right? You, it's what you're all here for. But how long ago? Oh, um. In what direction? Uh, that might be a bad question. Hurley, pause it. When did when did when did Hurley go missing? I whatever three you months say ago. Is, three, three months. Ago. Yeah, I was gonna say whatever you say is correct. Um, yeah. with, oh, okay. About, about, um, I think it was a few months back. Mm, that is not a load of good, but you answered, so sure. Thank right. you. A any, any, I just want to pull other... one ear off. Preppins? What? <laughs> Um, it, the consequences of your game, you know, whoever loses, you know, mm -hmm. things. It's just a colloquialism. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sure. Right. Yep. Hey, and, and I go, I, I go, I go over, <laughs> and I do like a little like you're doing great. I'm rooting for you, some. Okay. <laughs> they go back to playing cards, and now there is like a forced competitiveness about it. Uh huh. All right. Go back Pitting to them to the husband. death and cards. <laughs> Go back to us as a group and just uh, you know, hush whispers so that hopefully they can't hear. What are we actually doing with them? Are we killing them? Are we leaving them here? Hold, this is your kind of plan here. All right, so I got them for just like a little bit longer. We can like make them dance and stuff. But other than that, we either I feel like tie we them, them up out. and leave them. We're or... getting revenge for, you know, our friend. Um, So I feel like we should you know kill them all right well do you just want me to leave them at the table this feels really dark <laughs> <laughs> it does it does yeah I'm talking about murder and them yeah are we literally away. planning um, this bunny <laughs> these bunnies are you, are you murder at any right care by to them? like not let them overhear you yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. inside yeah. voices you know. that was yeah. the plan yeah 
Yeah, quiet, you know, kind of hushed whispers. You know uh, when, like, a group of kids is at school, and they're all in a circle, and you're next to that circle, and they all look at you, and then they, like, turn around and all look at each other again? <laughs> yeah. That's what we just Me- did. Meanwhile, a little a voice comes from, like, like as you guys, as you're all huddled out, the voice comes from, like, right below, and like, in the middle of you goes, I think we probably should think about if we are going to commit any more murders, if there are any other guards present at the fight here at the Christ. Let's just ask them. Yeah. Yeah. Get all. Wonderful idea. Are there any ask, guards? Ask your voice. <laughs> Son. <laughs> you talking to me? Champ. Um, I mean, I'm sorry. Are you privy to any guards? <laughs> are you, you asking about? Um, are you are you are you literally just going up to them and asking? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, Champ. Are there any guards around here? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Champ. I mean, there's 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 hey, the Champ. guards. There's the guards above, and you know, um, okay. uh, there's the three that that stand guard outside. Um, there's, okay. there's about four asleep at the moment uh, on off shift in the quarters, and uh, um, Mr. Agden is uh, sleeping in his quarters as well. There could be a few more about, but I think the rest are on patrol. Okay, I need you guys to split up and tell them that a Sir Talavar is back, and he has not paid his dues. Split, split up. How, yep. how would we split up? You it's, go it's tell just, one group of guards... Room. It's just one group. Oh. Oh, well then get them all here. All right. Um, and they, they get up to they get up and open the door into the next room. Oh. How are we doing this? Um, so... We're about to have all of them you, in the same room uh, as us. I am going to think about something for a second. I don't um, like this idea Yeah, they anymore. disappear into the room, into the, into the, the, through the door. Oh, shut the door, God. Um, and you hear for a moment nothing, and then muffled voices can we can we bar the door and, and then, then set the place shouts. on fire well yeah, they're we... probably saying nice things about uh, no no this is bad this is bad oh, noise guys we should fine. go it's fine oh. guys we should go this is fine. <laughs> footfalls guys, we're, oh, they were, we're totally oh they were uh, dead up there weren't they <laughs> you see yeah, we murdered the door oh yeah we open oh god and six oh, god. erangon come pouring out including the two that you had charmed, that have now been slapped away. Oh no! Hey, son. Oh, I need oh, everyone. No, we got it. Oh, no. uh, <laughs> it's, it's broken. broken. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and you, uh, some of this uh, anger out. Oh no! When Our they, when they charm went to, is broken. When they went to <laughs> when they went to warn everybody, uh, they saw the corpses <laughs> that we left. <laughs> Oh, boy. Hey, they're all grouped for good AOE damage. Okay, uh, I gotta grab everybody's <laughs> initiative order. And you moment. know what that's like. <laughs> oh, wow. It's not, this might be the time where Thunderwave Friendly Fire doesn't... I rolled a nat one. <laughs> I rolled a three. <laughs> awesome. I don't know what I rolled. It's in the logs. <laughs> it's in there somewhere. It'll come up. <laughs> I have a bowl in my hands. Oh, boy. 21. Uh... Not 20. <laughs> So I thought they'd be like, there's cool guys over there. Come back out. Come hang out with us. <laughs> Yo, you want to come play cards to the dead? It wasn't yeah. a horrible idea. I Anyone um, want to play Rocky Roulette when cards? cards got through? Are you guys actually? good at rummy? Um, okay, so I'm going to auto roll all of theirs. Um, What's your high score in solitaire? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, here. let's go fitch. With cards. <laughs> oh, that was last time. Do you have any <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so Ninkasi rolled a three. Three, yeah. Oh, uh, no. Yeah. Hey, girl. Hold, Terrible. Hold a, uh, tw- nope, that's not. Hold, where's your initiative check? Uh, 12. 12, okay. Uh, 12 for good old Hall. Uh, Curly rolled a 21. That's not bad. Curly is ready hey. to straight up murder some other rabbits. She uh, wants to pull those ears off. Uh, Leo Leclerc rolled a 17. Kaza yeah. rolled a Leo. 2. Yeah, I did. Uh, they killed her dad. And then for Sir Talavar, us, but... what did Sir Talavar roll? I'm gonna. I'm gonna God, I hope he rolls nothing and gets. Uh, he rolled score. a two. Um, <laughs> let's go. Oh, let's go, Sir Talavar. Sir Talavar rolled a two, which is a. Uh, does he have any bonus? I don't think he does. So he rolled a two. Um, Handshake me, me and Sir Talavar getting twos. And then I'm gonna <laughs> roll for the rest of these uh, yahoos, these jabronis, if you will. That's okay. the name of the gang, the Jabronis. Oh my gosh. I love it. <laughs> God. 
boy. Um, whoops. Pardon me, this is acting a little weird, so I'm gonna have to, like... Ah, uh, that's why. Okay, weird. No worries. Oh, wow. Curly's too upset about Hurley to have an existential crisis about more Harrigans, because she's never yeah. met any of them before. Makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a little, little bit weird. You killed. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Um, okay, it's got this, a lot of feelings you know to process. Thing, this whole thing, like, <laughs> weirdly messed up. I'm just going to redo it. So give me a give me a hot second while we do this. Oh yeah. Do you want Can me to do you want me to sing? Pre battle sing? Uh, no, I've got I've, Leo? Got, I've got battle tunes. I'm putting them on. <laughs> John Cage would totally like two different songs being played at the same time. Yeah. I just tried to drink my candle, by the way. I just lit hey, this oh, candle no. and I have two oh, drinks no. on my desk. Hey, but, <laughs> so would dangerous. Han Simmer like to also don't bait me into a Han Simmer. You know, I'd love I'd love to be able to okay. uh, I'd love don't. to be able to afford Han Simmer. Uh, but we do not have Don't budget for that. He, wrote, he has written the same thing eight times. Is that your it's just been got like, him. here's got a him. movie. It's got, got him. If you listen to, I'm not going to stop. Okay. If anyone wants to know stop, why Hans Zimmer. <laughs> I fucking love to talk about Hans Zimmer. It's I'm ready. my music degree. So funny. Tell us about Hans Zimmer, Blue. We're ready. This is what we're paying for. Yeah, that's what is my music degree God? is paying for, too. <laughs> it's a lecture about Hans Zimmer. Uh, <laughs> of course, why he's not creative. <laughs> Oh no! Did we get an act of God? Yeah. Oh, Lemon Kiwi raiding us! Hello, everyone! Yo! Lemon Kiwi! Lemon Kiwi! Jen! An Jen! Thank you! We love Jen! Just Thank in time you. for a battle. As we're about to either get slaughtered or slaughter a bunch of people. All right, we're gonna beat six ponies. Lemon Kiwi! I would hope so. Is it six or eight? Uh, Jen six. Jen likes my pigtails. Do you guys think Jen six. likes my pigtails? All right. For now. So I have there finally was a made the actual thing work, and I am derping okay. super hard. Uh, so that's uh, thank you for bearing with me. Also, there is a map on the screen. This is a very small area that I am not able to fill with all of our uh, all of our bunny rabbits. But let's just say this is incredibly okay. cramped space right now. Oh, um, okay. So, so <laughs> yo, here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna murder them, and then there's gonna be less space. Oh. Okay. How about that? there you go? So. <laughs> okay. uh, First up in the order, what do you think? it's going to be Curly, because hey. you're higher than all of them. Um, First off, okay. where are you in the, in, well, uh, everything's within 30 feet, but like six of them have just crowded out of the doorway, just spilled out. Okay, um, hold on, hold on. I just I, I just did my um, specialization, right? So I have a new thing you that do I You do have new stuff. Yeah, y'all yeah, leveled up last time, so you have access. We to all this. do. We're all level three. Yeah. These, yeah. these harangans, harangues, have no chance. <laughs> Sure. Okay, okay. I learned I learned how to strike and slip away without reprisal. Ooh, slippery. So if I make a melee attack against a creature, that creature can't make opportunity attacks against me for the rest of my turn. So okay. I'm show. going to attack a creature. Nice. Whoever's closest. They are all like so. They've all come spilling out of the doorway. Uh, it is gonna... it is six one half dozen the other. Okay, I actually have a bow and arrow. I no, I have a crossbow, are, which so is are, way more there dangerous. Are four of them. There are four of them wielding like these like little axes, or not little, okay. but like 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 two-handed axes. And two you're calling them, me little now. Two of them knocking crossbows. So now it matters. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, uh, Curly's gonna take the crossbow off her back and cocks it like a gun because it's funny for her to All do right. that. <laughs> a little sound effect. She she makes the sound effect herself. <laughs> Pulls it back. And we're gonna roll. We're gonna roll. We're gonna roll if we actually even hit for that. You know. Yeah. We're gonna Probably see. a good Let's idea. For, for funsies, you're about 20 feet away. Okay, let me pull up my attack actions really quick. Why don't I have? Okay, wait, hold on. I guess. Well, but do I have to equip my weapon? Is that what's happening? Yeah, but let's just. How do I roll for this? Are you mistaken? You already did it. Go ahead and go ahead and hit the thing. Okay, okay, okay. You're rolling a dagger though. Uh, yep, yep, I am. <laughs> I was like, why can't you equip me? Uh, oh, do you want to do want to reroll? Just ignore this one. Items. I haven't seen Yes, please. Is, so. Even yeah, though it so, was a good roll. So, uh, equip, equip your my... crossbow and then do that. Yep, 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 yep. Gonna do equipment. I always yeah, forget I to equip my stuff. I'm yeah, I dumb. do that in real life, too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm giving your character <laughs> you know the what? benefit of the doubt. Let's just... you, would, you would not go into a, a brigand's hideout without your weapons on you. Yeah, us, so though. I appreciate that, because I'm kind of a moron. Um... Uh... 
I know that mood. Um, let's just do the dagger. Let's just say that she's okay. throwing dagger, a dagger. dagger. You Come chuck, on, a, you chuck a dagger at the one that seems to be making its way towards you the fastest, like charging with an axe. You little fuck, I swear to God. Really. <laughs> <laughs> damage? I have a lot of pent up aggression. Oh. Mm -hmm. I gotta have quit my crossbow wow, next round. Damage. Sorry, guys. Uh, you managed to. Your, All your right. dagger is like. <clears throat> and in the eye of the first one who screams at him. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. No. You still have your movement uh, and any bonus actions. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna book it. I'm just gonna try to run up Kaza, actually. <laughs> just gonna hide behind Kaza? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna run up Kaza. Older. The consequences of my actions. I the bonus action because you're a rogue. Yeah, uh -huh, I think so. I sure can. Yeah, so I'm okay. camouflaging on my uh, Give me a stealth check. <laughs> okay. In the middle of this battle. You're using like the shoulder, the shoulders like your cover at like Getty's <laughs> room or whatever. You're just yeah. like. This is, this, mechanically, this is a bit weird, but I'm going to allow it because why not? Mechanically, I'm having a really instance, good time. You have <laughs> mechanically, it's, it's, in this it's particular really working instance. for me. Yeah, it's yeah. like I have. Why it's are like, my rolls so slow? Mechanically, it just built, it's, 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 it's the inbuilt tension. To Sorry. Like, yeah, 15 <laughs> you you manage like so this guy gets hit and he like, like ah goes down for a second and you slip behind him in the confusion and he looks up. Where'd she fucking go? Um, nope. It's just <laughs> and nope. he can't find you. So nope. no, he can't. As intended. No. Uh, so he is going to roll instead to attack one of the rest of you. Bring it, oh. bitch. And he chooses to attack Leo. Oh, uh, Leo. Why would Leo. anyone choose to attack Leo? He runs at hey, Leo. Leo, watch out for the consequences of my actions. I'm already paying for them. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 if it isn't. So. Uh, is a 14 enough to hit? It is. Okay. Oh, no. He's Here got like. Here comes three the consequences, health. consequences, consequences. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you take five slashing damage as the uh, axe comes down and, and swings and, and hits into your arm and like starts to cut a little bit of your muscle. Ah, uh, okay. It's fine, everything's fine. <laughs> Looking ripped, Leo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. literally. No. Oh, no, why would you? Okay, uh, his buddy, who was one of the dudes that you, uh, you had charmed, um, uh, starts running towards you, Hall, and goes, Yep. I don't like it when someone messes with me head! Jumps up yep. in the air and misses horribly on a hit. It's, yep. it's, it's son on father crime. Yeah, I go, <laughs> champ, next time you'll get me. <laughs> Leo's turn! Hold, you're up next. Alright. Ow, my phone, okay. Uh, hold, I don't <laughs> know about this, but I'll choose to believe. Now get us out of this so we can not die and just leave. And oh my god. Uh, my actions are my actions. <laughs> or uh, Bardic inspiration. There's a consequences, my consequences, actions. consequences. Me and Kaz are just singing in the back. In the Hall of the Mountain King. Making an <laughs> make make appearance <laughs> in D&D <laughs> &D <laughs> today. <laughs> Alright, so Bardic inspiration for hold, and okay. then they will turn to the one that um, just hit him. And we go, yeah. Um, I'll go. Honestly, we're a little dumb, but you're still more dim-witted. Now begins the tale of your demise, and I'll leave no details omitted. Cast vicious Oh my mockery. god! The bars once again. Beautiful. Uh, that was like a really good is one. an eleven. All right, that will work. So one d four. Let's go. Let's freaking go. This is a guy that's missing an eye, by the way. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> This dude's getting yeah, two oh, damage. Oh, it looks pretty fucked up. Um, and it's it's fucked up now. next attack is disadvantage. Oh, yeah. Well, makes a lot of sense. Okay, hold. You're up unless Leo has anything else to do. Nope. That is it for Leo. Yeah. Chad, how's the right. volume of the music, by the way? If it's a little too loud, I can always crank it down. Here comes a cut, a cut, a cut, a cut. Even you can have a music degree. Um, <laughs> no thanks. I have an English degree. A little bit louder, but same thing. <laughs> Literally the same thing. <laughs> That's what do you do here. with a BA in music? <laughs> I'm here right now. <laughs> I'm in this um, picture a... and I don't like it. Oh, no. <laughs> um, okay. So I'm going to run up to. Um, I am in this picture behind Boof. 
<laughs> how, how? That's his husband's. Ah! <laughs> how far is um? How far are is the group of Herengues? Uh, well, one of not. them is literally in front of you. Another one is literally in front of uh, Leo, and the other four haven't moved yet. Two of them are knocking arrows with their crossbows. And where and are two. the other four? They are like they're at the door that was across the way. So you were standing by the desk. They're about like how many feet? Five feet away. Okay, I'm gonna move within ten feet of all four in the door. Okay, and then I'm gonna use faith. As presence. a free action, can I talk? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say. That's a bad idea because I'm about to get up there. Oh, okay, you cool. You should not advance. You cannot advance. Is Faith Presence capped? Halt. No. You can do it anytime for anything? Short rest. Ah. You used it on. Yeah, I'm thinking. I don't think you. you no, you used it on the boggles. You did short oh, rest oh, that's after right. that. So, yeah. That's right. Okay, well, anyway. No, no, you did. You have it. You have it. Yeah. Okay. Um. Sorry. Yeah. I don't know why well, I, I would way. see you starting to advance, and I'd be like, "Don't do All right. that." All right. And then I and then I I'm stop five feet, there. and I go, "Okay." I put a thumbs up on, and I go, "Oh man, I don't feel that good." And then I'm gonna use poison spray at the one that's on the ground. Uh, <laughs> there's none on the ground. Um, there's just one that Leo is in front of you. Lot, and there's yeah, one yeah, yeah, yeah. In front of, oh, did you use the poison spray? Oh no, no, the one actually. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it against the one that um tried to attack me and failed. Uh, yeah, okay, that's the one in front of you. Uh, <laughs> Get ready, champ. Or... Uh, it is a constitution save of 14. Oh, excellent. Uh, that's a nine. Oh, so no, Whoa, champ. Hold, what the fuck? Hey, champ. <laughs> champ. Champ. So I, t I pour my finger out, and I go, smell my finger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just Lord. Yeah. Ew. Two damage. Oh my god. Yeah. You um, got your, you your joke car moment. The, 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 like, like this weird, like, like greenish wisp just like floats off your finger and like directly into, into like the rabbit nostrils. Go. <laughs> Gags a little bit. Jesus. What was that? Uh, and, uh, yeah. Cool. Anything else? Um, I try to like find cover or something, like get far away. Uh, you want to move? Yep. Okay. Uh, he's gonna get an attack of opportunity on you. Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> As you back away, he swings, misses horribly. Champ is not having a great day. Uh, yeah, you managed to disengage from him. Um, and you want to try to like find cover? Yeah. You won't. You won't be able to like hide as like an action. You, hides an action, so you won't be able to like actually hide. But you can like but, jump uh, behind the desk if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think like, you know, in a cartoon when like three kids pop their head around the corner, one on top of the other, you know, that kind of hidden. <laughs> yeah, but it's um, everything except my head. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, okay, cool. With that uh, bombshell out of the oh way, boy. Um, the uh, Bowman is going to take his turn. No, one give me my is. turn. <laughs> give me Gazi yeah. like, turn laugh. so she can I'm like, I'd like to, so. yeah, you rolled quite low. So I'm like, I rolled um, so both, bad. Both oh, of so the uh, both of the the bowmen are actually going to take their go, um, and they have knocked crossbow arrows, and they are looking at the biggest threat in the room, which is Kazi. I mean, says who? That's what they think. For but now. he's so loving. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, Kazi, literally, that's the stereotyping if I've ever seen it. Well, you know what? They're not. They do not understand the intricacies of yep. uh, that sort of line of reasoning. They steal shit for yep. a living. Um, one That's of them true. gets an they eight, which I'm, or nine, which I'm pretty sure I doesn't hit you. The other one, however, rolls no. an 18. Jesus. Um, do, I, do I have any like fun stuff that I can do? Uh, I do not believe so, so that probably hits, yes. Okay, so you're able to like... Like one comes up, you like pop up your bracer in time as like the arrow just like shatters off into pieces. Um, you mean my one... bear? You mean my bear no, suit? You, you, you got actual bracers though, underneath the bear. Oh, suit. do I have? Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. Mm -hmm. oh, Maybe you just like, take those off and burn them like your yeti suit. <laughs> uh, Wild knight, all that, all that fun stuff. Okay, so um, the second one though may, does catch you underneath, like into the ribs, um, and it does eight points of piercing damage. Oh. Okay. Uh, and immediately both of them barrel roll behind uh, one of them behind a bookshelf and the other one behind uh, on the other oh, side. Oh, of the, okay, the okay, okay. Can I use uh, can I use stones endurance um, 
As a reaction, reduce damage dealt to you by 1d12 plus 2 per, once per short rest. Yeah. For that, okay. Go ahead, roll it. 1d12 plus 2, you said? Uh, yeah. So, 12. Oh. 11. So, the arrow okay, hits I didn't you, take it and, like, you flex at the exact right moment, and it just, like, Woo! and then falls to the ground. One of the one of the guys that was charging his jaw just drops. Um, you take no damage. Okay, it is now going to be uh, the last two axe dudes as they charge not at you, seeing what the fuck just happened. They didn't want to get anywhere near you. Um, one goes to Hald, seeing what it did to his buddy. This is the other one that you had charmed, uh, and jumps towards you and swings for a sixteen to hit. Yep, that does it. Okay. Uh, you are going to take a grand total of... I need to find One more hand. dice. Uh, ooh, max damage. Six, uh, slashing <laughs> damage. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I really don't like you! And it, like, he, like, cuts into your leg, and you, like, oh, you feel it. It's... Mm, that's a deep cut. Very deep cut. Uh, second one. Um, is going to instead try to choose a different target. Um, and it's seeing... Where are you all positioned? I know, like, like you were you all spread out in a fan or in a line? Or were you all, um... We were in a circle, weren't we? Yeah, you were in a circle. Who would be... Yeah, basically. Who would be in the circle that is, like, who would be facing closest to the door where the, the brigands came out of? Out of curiosity? Probably... Probably... Oh. Kaza or I, maybe? Because I definitely yeah. would have... I was, like, talking about... Okay like barring the door and <laughs> setting the place on fire and leaving so i definitely would have been closer then, to the door and it's uh, this this guy spies you nikasi um and is going to come at you and with a 10 to hit i believe he's not going to be able to nope. land it as he kind of like mm -mm. tries to jab forward with the uh with the the axe and you manage to like just kind of like turn out of the way yeah. um but they are, a lot of them are in melee range of you right now and now it is your <gasps> turn okay finally um cloud. so is there a way for me to move like past this kind of front line of like i don't know one or two of them I, i'm fine with taking um opportunity attacks but get far enough away so that like when i do <laughs> thunder wave i don't hit my friends is thunder wave directional or is it like circled on you it's a 15 foot cube uh sweeping out from me if you get in front of everyone uh i would yeah, yeah i would 100 so you, you would like, you, you'll, end up, you'll end up moving past two of them and taking That's fine. some opportunity attacks, uh, you'll be able we'll to see. hit on a thunder wave with the room. The, the way the room is spaced, I'm gonna I'm gonna load the, the map up again. The way the room is spaced out at the moment, um, you would be able to get because they're like a bunch of them are on you, and the two uh, and the two bowmen have kind of ducked behind things in opposite directions. You could turn like due north uh, on the map, and you could get one of the ones on hold you can get both of the ones on hold including the one that's like really messed up um you could get one of the bowmen but you would also get hauled i like, want to do i don't want to get hauled you wanna, you wanna i get i will okay. go wherever i don't touch my own party uh, and you can get, <laughs> this time i'm gonna say you can get directly in front of kaza and get the two that are on you and kaza without provoking opportunity attacks okay i don't care about opportunity attacks i will take opportunity attacks okay. well you won't provoke any of them if you just get in front of kaza basically Okay, there's so there's no way to hit more than two of them. Uh, not unless not not without hitting some of your allies because they're they're right up close to your allies. Um, just hit me. Just hit you. Okay. Hit me, Rorschach. Right. Do it. Okay, so I will uh, do it so that I hit Hald, um, so that I can hit four of them total. Yeah, it'll be one of the bowmen uh, and three of the uh, axe guys and Hald. Um, but as okay. you move forward, the one that was on you and the one that was on Kaza get opportunity attacks. So That's fine. You dash forward, Give me those rolls first. They swing at you. One lands a 14. Uh, 14 meets. Uh, well, actually, do you consider, like, okay, I have a shield, but mm -hmm. I don't have it normally equipped. Would you count donning a shield as an action or no? It or would can be I an just action, pull it but out? I gave the benefit of the doubt to, like, you know, like having, like, a crossbow and stuff. I, I'm going to leave it to you. Okay, because I would have pulled out my shield. Yeah, which you, before, yes, before, I would have yeah. pulled out my then shield. Then you have your shield, so, please equip it, and, and, and add that to your AC. Okay, uh, so then it would be 16. Although, Looks please like. do, everyone, please do remember to equip your stuff if you can. Um, so yeah, yeah that's I, Well, I normally don't, but I would I would have in this scenario, knowing that there's a bunch of them okay. coming. Like, 
because she normally will not pull it out unless she feels it's necessary, basically. You had enough advanced warning as sound was going off and you're perceptive okay, enough to cool. that. Yeah. So, uh, so one so of them yeah. one of the one of the axe swings glances off your shield. The other one comes in just below uh, and grabs you like just below the hip uh, on a okay. twenty-three. Okay. So um go ahead and do your damage and then I have a reaction to that. That's gonna be you're... four <laughs> points of slashing damage. Okay. Four Okay. Uh, so because they hit me with an attack, I'm going to use my Wrath of the Storm. So when someone within five feet of me sees you and hits you with an attack, I can use my reaction to cause the creature to make a dex saving throw, so DC 14, or it's going to take 2d8. Uh, in this case, I could choose thunder or lightning damage, so I'm going to choose lightning damage. Okay, uh, they rolled a seven. Okay, that's that shit, so I'm going to roll. Uh, wow, 13, 13 <laughs> lightning damage. So, nice. Y'all ever seen, like, a cartoon where, like, you know, somebody, like, gets, like, electrocuted, either, like, Pokemon style or, like, you know, like a Tom and Jerry, like, electric socket kind of thing, and they're just, like, eyeballs and dust? <laughs> yeah, my great-grandpa. Nice. Oh, God. Uh, how could you? Well, <laughs> this guy doesn't R. I. P. Exist anymore. Here again. <laughs> That's yeah. okay. I don't have a great grandpa. Anyways, uh, that th this guy, yeah, um, this guy does not exist He's anymore. He's obliterated. It is, it is a, it is, it is some dust and an axe that just falls to the ground as you go past. Okay. Water conducts like this, uh, Yeah. <laughs> so uh, then I am going to thunderweave. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna thunder Can't wait for this. Uh, yeah. Con now, save of 14. This does include. Um, hold. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, this includes hold. So hold. I need you to make that as well. Uh, what is the? Sorry. What type of save again? DC 14 con save. Two so, so this is for three of them, including one of the bow guys that hid behind a thing. Can I guidance on this on uh, myself? No, this is a save. Um, and the, and the guidance. Well, you got action. bardic inspiration. Yeah, bardic it doesn't matter. I got a three. Yeah. <laughs> Knock me out. Knock me out. Okay. Teach me a lesson. Uh, Knock well, me the out. Bowman, the Bowman made it. The other two did not. Uh, what happens? Okay, so even if they fail, they take... Um, or sorry, if they fail, yeah, on a successful, they take half as much. Okay, so... Let me roll. Okay, so if you failed, you take nine damage. If you passed, you take half. Okay. And then fifth edition rounds down. I mean, I just I'm alive. I, I, I go for whatever, um, whatever works. He's for the alive. Okay. So, um, yeah. So the other two, you see, they get shocked, shoved back, like into the wall, and then they just fall down, dead. They're not moving, at least. Um, and uh, oh yeah, hold. You would have been pushed back ten feet too. Yeah. Okay. So hold. You're shoved away <laughs> into the wall as well. Um, you don't that means I can't hit you again because okay. you're far away. So <laughs> I have been absolutely brutalized every single fight <laughs> so Are you still far. <laughs> yeah, I have two HP. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I need to start point... like preemptively so... casting like Shield of Faith or <laughs> Ninkasi dashes through a couple of these Haringa wielding these axes. One of them connects and just gets vaporized. And then she just like releases this like thunderous energy. And then everything in front of her, like on the north side of the wall, just like boom, 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 boom. A bunch of these dudes drop like flies, and Hall just gets shoved back into the wall, and he's looking a little haggard, but he's still in one piece. And uh, is there anything else you'd like to do, Nankasi? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um. No. Okay. That's, that's, it's Kasi's uh, turn. That's everything I got. Yay! You arrow out of yourself. I've been hit by 100% of your thunder waves. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did. I, I wanna. I wanna say. I you did said say, it was okay. It, yeah, it's true. It's true. I'm starting to like it. That includes fire. Like that that is true. That is true. I, I feel like there's probably some Stockholm syndrome happening. <laughs> like we're already talking about a Joker story. Maybe it's fine. <laughs> That's where we're at. All right, Kaza, you're up. It's my turn. Not last in the order because Sir Talavar has that honor. I'm not. Oh, that's, wait, really? Yeah, I so, rolled a two. Oh, so you also. Talavar. Okay. Um. <laughs> I would like Kaza to rage, first off. Um, and then, as he's raging, Spiritual Ancestors is going to proc, I assume. I or should so. we um, wait for that? Yeah, I think that's an automatic thing, right? 
That is like an automatic. Yeah, it's just so treasures is gonna hurt. Let me describe how this happens because this is something that Kaza has never experienced before. Um, Kaza, what is it? He's very like mad. Is? He's very mad that someone has hurt Leo, extremely so. Okay. So... And that someone attempted to hurt Curly, so you... he's not happy. Time slows old. down for a moment. <laughs> Uh, and you see kind of like all the action happening and like the axes flying and the arrows coming off of you one of them connects but just like you just like flex and it just drops to the ground uh, you literally have abs of stone uh, nice and in front of you appears like, like, it's like your mind's eye, but, like, you see it almost clear as day. A couple of people you haven't seen in over eight years. What do Kaz's birth parents look like? <gasps> oh, I don't even... Um... Whatever you say is correct. <laughs> okay. Uh... Mom? Dad? Give them names. No... No, I can't do that now. You don't have Harry to right now, but we will. We will. In the um, what about Penelope well, and Greg? Greg. <laughs> you <laughs> Greg Kaza. The Goliath. Greg. Greg yeah. the Goliath. Yeah, yeah, um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, I imagine, I mean, they're Goliaths, so they're like I imagine Kaza's dad probably looks a little bit similar to him, but probably with like more, you know, facial hair. Um and a little bit more like i think like braided hair i imagine kind of mm -hmm. um on him well cause it's kind of just like bald uh yeah, and then like, a little bit, like salt and pepper kind of like strewn in there as well yeah it's, like, mostly like darker um it, and it, then the hair kind of flows into the beard itself it's yeah very well very well kept like, this is and they, they both have like yeah that's the dad and then his mother probably has um like long i would say like braided hair um and then like both of them have like purple the same purple tattoos that causes has i would imagine and, and they, they both have great axes so they kind of like appear in front of you but they're not like like corporeal or anything and it's just again everything seems to be moving very very slow um and they look at you with like this like almost shimmering ethereal quality and this is like harry potter like the mirror type of and <gasps> Uber's here. your dad goes time you unleash true potential Kaza. we knew this day would come your mom looks at you and goes we are so very proud of what you have become now fuck them up <laughs> back Kaza's to just gonna the battle instantly just <laughs> just instantly just snap and just run at whatever the closest uh Herring yeah. in and that is in a pile of uh, dust and just great exit. Good news is it's not very far from you. Um, now the one that the one that was on you just got dusted by Ninkasi, but you turn around and swing your great axe at the one that was on Ninkasi before. Uh, go ahead and roll. Eleven. Eleven. I believe if you want to make this reckless, you have advantage. Did somebody say reckless? I would like to use it reckless. Okay. K-Corp. Roll one more time. <laughs> 19. Okay, 24. Oh, shit. Yeah, uh, roll damage, please. <laughs> Nine so, damage. Normally, there would ha there would be a very specific effect as to this, uh, as to what would happen here. But what you see, Kaza, is when you connect, you are aiming, not for anything particular, just like in a blind rage, you swing uh, at this, uh, at this herring gun and like its axe kind of like starts to like lift up in slow motion to try and parry you. Um, and you see just a quick flip of your mom and dad's faces and the axe in your hand shifts up just a little bit, misses the parry, and slices the head off this herring gun. 
as it just Ooh. tumbles to the ground and it's dead. Uh, you got some oh. extra guidance from your ancestors, from your immediate ancestors, as it were. Uh, oh, you have nice. this Heron gun, and it is gone, and there are no more axe wielders around, actually. Um, anything else you'd like to do for your turn? I don't think I have anything else that I can do. Okay. Uh, on to the next go. Uh, it is now Sir Talavar, and there are not that many of these guys left alive. No, uh, we fucked him up. up. He's cleanup crew. And, cut, <laughs> and kind of starts diving down behind a table as one of the bowmen, as the only remaining bowman, stands there and he goes, ha ha, I shall finish the job. And he rolls. Sir Talavar has a really good bonus to his stuff, so he still manages to hit on an eight. Um, and he's going to go ahead and roll damage. This guy. He min damages, which I believe is still <laughs> As you Still just hear enough. behind you, like a... <laughs> and Sir Talavar emerges and just kind of, like, puts his sword back into his, his sheath. Just takes his little, like, dragon claws and just... And you look around and you realize that there is no one else standing. You have one For point. now. Until there's more that join us. Um, I look over at Ninkasi. And... Oh, right, <laughs> yeah, let me... <laughs> and I look let up me... and I, like, put my eyes up, like, I... <laughs> Don't... Not you. Uh, I'm gonna so, do <laughs> someone else. Someone else. Someone else heal me. I don't. <laughs> chat, <laughs> chat, give so healing. Yeah, <laughs> any heal he boost to help? chat. I don't trust you. Anymore. Chat has been very <laughs> quiet with the redemptions tonight. Um, uh, do, I think we just we got another. In, act we do have inspiration. We did, and I'm going to get to that in a minute. But we did have inspiration uh, that I had not noticed for a little while uh, for uh, Space Ghost for Curly. Um, is that a breakup inspiration? Uh, <laughs> there's a healing boost for whoever's dying. <laughs> hey! 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 Let's so go. you're gonna have to pick one person for a healing boost. I hate to burst some bubbles. Anyone we'll dying? Whoever's Hald? dying. Hald is dying. Is, is okay, so now there's okay. So Hald gets, Hald gets a healing boost. Someone else gets a healing boost. So there's okay, two healing I boosts got... in total. Uh, Chad is being very generous uh, all of a sudden. Let's go. Yeah. Sounds like, like you have to say something. Oh, yeah. go for Curly. <laughs> Sounds so, like you had to say something. 2d4 plus uh, 2, right? Two, it's a healing potion, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, also, keep track. Uh, curly has two inspos. Yay! Woo! All right, I think I got two of them. So 7 plus 2 is 9. All right. Oh, wow, that's a good heal. As I get healed up on this first one, <laughs> I just, I go Ninkasi, nice. look at me. Look at me. And I just flip her off. <laughs> <laughs> I do finger guns back. Uh, a, little of, a little bit of like like green burning. This dynamic needs around, to stop. Circles around Hulk, and then all so of a sudden, good. like a lot of the blood, like kind of like shifts away. Some of the, the, the scuffs like disappear from themselves. Just kill me next time. <laughs> the second time. Because if I do kill you, I have spared the dying, so you'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> you can kill you and bring Any back. truers? Any truers in chat? <laughs> okay. Any necromancers in the chat? <laughs> Anyway, no, no, we I don't like... need necromancer. It's fine. It's fine. I've got to spare the dying. It'll keep him stable until I can heal him or chat can heal him. Because <laughs> I like peel myself off of the wall. That I <laughs> blown into. Because, you know, I said do it, but Hall just still kind of, you know, upset. You know, Hall, it's Hall, like, yeah, I mean, it's like when you're like your friend where you're like, hey, do you want anything from the store? And you like really want them to say no. But they're like, yeah. <laughs> Can, can you get me this? That's exactly what happened. I got Thunderwave. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, oh, so my God. I get out of healing, but you got Thunderwave. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, so it's fine. I'm going to do my second, uh, what should we call it? Okay. Uh, while you are all Ooh, taking max a breather, health. I'm going to set the yeah. scene just a little bit. It is very, very messy in here. The bookshelves have toppled over the walls are spattered with blood and dust there are a number of axes on the ground uh about three discernible herringon corpses and a whole lot of unidentifiable bits and bobs there sorry mom. As you are taking a bit of a breather we have an act of god ah! All right. Uh, Watch the sound uh, go through, and I don't know why. Give us the beholder. Oh, there it goes. An act of God. Um, oh, boy. Boggles. No, boggles. Boggles. Uh, boggles. Is it Boggles again? 
it's Boggles again. I've had enough and of this, Grandma. Boggles. Happy as Boggle taking, Day. Happy Boggle Day. As you are taking a little bit of a chill pill and just like relaxing for a second, you see out of the corner of your eye, all each of you just like a little bit of like moving, like looking around. You can't quite catch what it what it is. Um, and then you look down, and there is like a puddle of black liquid that's just seeping over the ground. Oh, and that's where we're going to take a break! No! Uh, 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 Chat, if we get another Act of God Boggles. Boggle, it's on site. Okay. Yeah, it's on <laughs> site. In about ten minutes, everybody. See you soon. <gasps>